Hey guys, behind me I have 17 red light therapy panels and I'm gonna compare them all in this extended cut with commentary red light therapy series. This is the video version for those who wanna take a deep dive and know exactly how I've done the scoring. I'm gonna share all my insights, commentary, analysis. I'm also gonna be sharing all the key features, any things I don't like about these panels. This video is gonna go above and beyond. It is longer, yes, but there's gonna be a lot more to cover. And in my opinion, if you're serious about buying a red light therapy panel, then this video is for you. Another thing I need to mention is all of the panels below have 300 LEDs or less. When I first started doing this series back in 2019, the panels were all very similar, similar size. It was easier to compare them. Today in 2024, there are so many different types, so many different sizes. Honestly, it's very hard to just make a comparison series like this, so I had to put some restrictions in. So what I've done is limited the panel size to 300 LEDs. Be sure to head over to my Facebook group where we can discuss all of this in a lot more depth. And for now, we're gonna get started. We're gonna hit round one, which is looking at panel size and LED count. Let's go. Okay, so what I'm doing for each round is ranking the panels from best to worst. Each round is gonna cover a different feature, whether it's price, power, or for round one, size. The winner of the round will receive a maximum of 17 points, last place, one point. After eight rounds, we're gonna to total the points and see the winner. Now, of course, when it comes to things such as price or power output, it's very easy to rank a panel. However, when it comes to operation or size, for instance, there are a lot of things I gotta consider. So what I've done is built a scoring system that's gonna reflect which panel is the best for that particular topic. This is where it may get a little bit controversial, but hey, I've done my best. Okay, so here in round one, what I'm looking at is LED count and the width the distance between the LEDs in the panel. Not the panel width, the LED width. Because the more LEDs you're getting and the wider those LEDs are spaced out, the better the light coverage on the body, which is what you want when you're buying a panel, a large treatment area. I then combine these two metrics to rank the panels from best to worst. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna go through all 17 panels. I'm gonna share the key numbers that you need to know and provide any insights you may need to know on the panel as well. Let's go. So first up, we have the Block Blue Light Mega 4th Gen. This is a relatively new panel. However, the company, which is based in Australia and New Zealand, have been operating for many, many years. And then next, we have the Bond Charge Hive Max. Now, this panel has 200 LEDs and an LED width of 7.4 inches. Also a company that's been around for a long time and they're also based in Australia. Now we have the Cyto LED Triplex. Now this panel was actually included in my 2021 comparison series. I haven't updated the panel since then so I've included it in this series as well. 210 LEDs and a 6.9 width. Here we have the Gimba Red Overclocked. I should mention I'm not affiliated with this company. Assume I am affiliated with the other companies unless I mention that. American based with 210 LEDs with a 7.6 inch LED width. Now we have the Huga Ultra 1500, a very new panel, 300 LEDs, seven inches across. I'm excited to see how it goes. This particular panel is an Alibaba purchase. There's 300 LEDs in here, 9.65 inches across. Next is the Infrared Pro Max. 150 LEDs, 6.6 .6 inches across, so it is on the narrower side. Now, Infrared actually placed third in my 2021 comparison series. This panel is their new and improved latest gen panel, so I'm excited to see if they can improve on that third placing. Another old timer here, this is the Juve Solo 3.0. Again, I'm not affiliated with this company. This panel was also in my previous series. It hasn't been updated, so we're throwing it in again in 2024. 150 LEDs, also 6.6 .6 inches spacing. Now we have the Carla Elite, a Canadian company. First time I've included their panels in my comparison series. They have 231 LEDs with a 6.85 inch spacing across the LEDs. Here we have the Lightpath LED Diesel XL Shorty. There's 254 LEDs in this panel with an LED spacing width of 12 and a half inches. So this thing is twice the width of some of those other panels we've just looked at. In the corner here, we also have another newcomer. This is the Mito Light Biohacker 4.0, their fourth generation panel from a European-based company. 204 LEDs with a width of 7.9 inches. Okay, now we have the defending champ. This is the Mito Red Light Mito Pro 1500X. This is the newer version 
of the panel that won the 2021 comparison series. You're gonna find out a lot about the new features that this panel has in this video, but what you need to know now is that it has 300 LEDs and is 7.6 inches across. Next to the Mito Red Light panel, we have the Platinum LED Biomax 900. Now, these two panels are very interesting because last time the Mito Red Light 1500 won, the first comparison series I ever did, the Biomax panel came out, number one. So these two here are rivals. They've also historically put out very good panels. Now I haven't placed them next to each other to make things more exciting. I've actually placed all the panels in alphabetical order. It just happens that they come out next to each other. So the Biomax 900, eighth gen. This is the brand new 2024 panel. There's lots of panels that have just been released that are featured in this series. So it is going to make things rather exciting because there are some neat innovations. This panel also has 600 LEDs, but is 9.57 inches across. Okay, now we have the Red Therapy Co. Red Rush 840 Pulsed. Red Therapy have had panels in all three of my comparison series. They've been around for a long time. This new version of their panel has 280 LEDs, and a width of 7.68 inches. All right, now we have the Royo Therapy Refine 900. This panel, like the Mito Red Light 1500X, has just been released, and this company is relatively new as well. It's very similar size to the Biomax 900 with 300 LEDs and 9.61 inches across. I'm excited to see how this panel performs. Another panel with exactly the same specs as the Royo Refine is the Rouge G3 Pro, 300 LEDs, 9.61 inches across, and that leaves us finally with the Cyanlotic P1500. This is another new company, and it actually has the same LED count and the same 9.61 inches across as the Rogo and the Rooch. Okay, so we have all the numbers. Let's rank these panels from best to worst when it comes to size. All right, and we see that the clear winner is the Lightpath LED XL Shorty. They were by far the widest panel and they also had a decent amount of LEDs. So they had a round score of nine, giving them the full 17 points for the series. Then we have six panels in second equal place. All of these panels had a round score of eight and they all had 300 LEDs and were a decent width as well. So we see Block Blue Light Mega, the I Do Lighting Alibaba panel, the Biomax 900, Rogotherapy, and the Rouge Care G3, finally the Cyanlotic P1500. The Mito Red Light Pro came in at eighth place, 300 LEDs, but they're a lot narrower. Then we have the Red Therapy, Huga down in 10th place, a couple panels in 11th place, and right at the bottom was the Infrared Pro Max and the Juve Solo. Both of these panels only had 150 LEDs and they were quite narrow. So they're only gonna get one and a half points for the series. Okay, so this is commentary after round one. Now, first up, Light Path LED. I mean, deservably in first place. The width of that panel is, it's second to none, obviously. Uh, some may say, well, hey, they're missing 40 odd LEDs compared to the others. But the way I scored this is I built tiers. So uh, 300 LEDs got full points, a little bit less, four points, all the way down to nothing for the panels that had only 150 LEDs. And then of course I did the same for the width. Now Light Path LED actually lost a point uh, compared to say your Biomaxes and your Block Blue Lights for the LED count, but they were two tiers above on the width. No one was even close. I mean, 12 and a half inches and the next panel down was 9.7 inches. They just gave them too much of an advantage. And I think that's fair. I think it's a good representation. I think if they were grouped in with the Biomaxes and the, the Rouge G3 and the Therapy, I mean, yeah, you got the difference in LEDs, but really I think it was more important to get the width. So I think it's a fair outcome here. Bunch of panels with 300 LEDs and the nine and a half inches width all got second place, all got 13 and a half points. So only a couple of points behind, you know, it's, it's not a big difference in the scheme of things. What is surprising though is Mito Red Light coming in at eighth place. Uh, again, 300 LEDs, but they were an inch or two shorter on the width front. They are really tall and I do factor this in later in the series, so they may get an extra point or two there. Um, but Mito Red Light have always had those narrower panels. If you, of course, if you get two of them and put them side by side, you do get a nice wide panel, but you can do the same with the Biomax or the Block Blue Light panel and get a really, really wide setup. Still though, it's early days, so uh, yeah, there's lots of things we're gonna look at. Moving down the list, uh, I mean, if you look at the rankings with the LEDs, remember all of this data, if it's not on screen now, will be over at the Light Therapy Insiders blog, so you can geek out on all the metrics. Um, 
I mean, it's clear that the smaller panels are doing bad here, which is what I wanted to do here. So, you know, anything under 200 LEDs is down the bottom and there is real narrow panels are, are quite low as well. But what's disappointing is yes, the Juice Solo 150 LEDs, but really the Infrared Pro Max, remember their company, their panel placed third out of 12 in my last series. This is their new panel. I don't know why there's only 150 LEDs in there. I mean, they sell multiple panels in a setup, um, but yeah, I mean, as a one-off panel, it's it's just quite small. So anyway, those panels are only getting one and a half points, so right on the back foot, but still seven more rounds to go. Next one is power. Really excited to see how this plays out. Okay, so I am super excited to do this video. Honestly, this is something I've been working on for I mean, over a year, to be honest, and, and a lot of work's gone into it. Now, I do need to share a few things with you. First up, I am affiliated with a lot of red light therapy companies, including most of the companies behind me. That means if you buy any of these panels and you use my discount code or the discount link, all of which will be below, you'll get a discount. I'll also get a commission. Now, I've been reviewing and experimenting with red light therapy panels for years now. This is what I do, it's what the channel's about very passionate about it, I know it works, and I wanna help you guys get the best deals. But whether I'm affiliated with the company or not does not impact how I've done this comparison series and the information I've provided you. Okay, so round two, here we are looking at one simple thing, and that is power output or irradiance or power density. Now the metric I'm using here is measured in milliwatts over centimeter squared. I'm using a spectrometer at six inches. Now. What I do, if you've seen my reviews before, you'll know exactly what I'm doing. If you haven't, I actually take nine different readings, six around the edges and then three through the middle, and I take an average. Now, power radiances are quite controversial. Let me explain. Firstly, there's a lot of ways to measure light output. You can use a light meter, a spectrometer like I have, cost me about four or five thousand dollars, gives a pretty good, pretty good representation. Another way is to send it to a laboratory, and they've got various ways of measuring light. Uh, and of course you're going to get a nice accurate reading. However, what a lot of the labs do is they only take one reading in the middle and that's it. They don't take an average. So it has its flaws and I've seen that in some of the lab testing results compared to my own testing. Another method is using a solar meter. These meters aren't designed for testing panels like this. They're designed for measuring the sun. However, solar meters typically give reading outputs that are twice what a spectrometer is. So a lot of companies use these measurements. And this is why you may go to a website and see that the power output is 200 milliwatts over centimeter squared. Then you watch my review and it's only say 80. Technically they're not lying. Technically they're not wrong. If I had a solar meter, I'd probably get the same readings. However, it's not super accurate. All of the measurements I've used for the 17 panels behind me are with a spectrometer and are measured at six inches using the average formula I just explained. This gives you a better representation of how much light you're getting at six inches. Of course, the further back you go or the closer you go to the panel, that power level is gonna change. Now, in this round, I'm ranking the panels from best to worst. Most powerful is best, least powerful is worst. This in itself is a little bit controversial. Some people say you don't need that much power, but remember, the further away from the panel you go, the less energy you're getting. So if you don't want full power, you can go further away and some people like that. Another thing is a lot of these panels now have the ability to reduce the power output through dimming. And we talk about this later in the video. So in my opinion, a panel that's putting out more power is better. It gives you more practical applications. You can do a long yoga session and you're three meters away from it and you're gonna get some light. If you wanna be up close, but you don't want too much power, you can drop the power intensity down. The other thing to note is if you want to treat deep into the body, you need that higher power output so it penetrates into the tissue. A weak performing panel isn't going to reach in there no matter how long you spend in front of that panel. So for those reasons, it's why I've continued to rank panels from most powerful to least powerful. Because I know in that some other videos in 2023, I was suggesting that I may not do this. So that's everything you need to know. Now, what you really need to know is the results. Okay, so let's share the results now. What I'm gonna do is show the rankings from last place through to first. In 17th place, we had the Bond Charge Hive Max at 31 milliwatts over centimeter squared. 16th place, Gimba Red Overclock, 38 milliwatts. 
15th place, the Alibaba panel on 45. 14th was the Saito LED triple X, 54. 13th place was the Lightpath LED diesel with 56. Juve Solo came in at 12th place with 59. The Mito Light Biohacker 4.0, 66 milliwatts in 11th place. Now in 9th equal with two panels, the Cyanlotic P1500 and the Mito Red Light Mito Pro 1500X. Both of them had 68 milliwatts over centimeter squared. Now I'll just stop it there real quick. I just need to point out that all of these panels are gonna put out a therapeutic, a decent amount of red light, okay? It's not like any of these panels aren't working. Even the Bond Charge Hive Max at 31, you're gonna get a benefit. It's just not gonna be the best if you want shorter treatment times or you want deeper penetrating light. Okay, let's do the remaining eight panels. So in eighth place, we had the Infrared Pro Max at 72 milliwatts over centimeter squared. Now these numbers are getting up there. These are decent figures. I mean, it's comparable to the top three rankings in my last comparison, and we're only in eighth place. In seventh place, the Royo Therapy Refine 900. In sixth place, the Red Therapy Co. Red Rush 840 at 76 milliwatts. And in fifth place, the Rouge Care G3 Pro with 81 milliwatts. In fourth place, the Huga Ultra 1500 at 82 milliwatts. That leaves the final three. In third place, we have the Carla Elite at 84 milliwatts. And in second place, we have the new Block Blue Light Mega 4.0 with a whopping 87 milliwatts over centimeter squared. And that leaves us in first place with the Platinum LED Biomax 900. This is the 8th gen 2024 edition with a crazy 90 milliwatts over centimeter squared of red light therapy at six inches. So if you want a panel with plenty of power, look at that table. Anything over say 80 is exceptionally high in my books. So you've got a bunch of options. All right, so what's my take on all of this? Well, I mean, the Platinum LED Biomax 900, I, that, that's just crazy. I, they've always been known for high powered panels, but 90 milliwatts, I mean, it's crazy. The Block Blue Light Mega, when I tested that a couple of weeks ago at 87, I thought that was huge. Uh, and it got pipped right at the end by the Platinum Biomax, which has just arrived uh, in time for this series. But even if you look down the list there, I mean, the Mito Red Light again, uh, seventh, eighth, ninth place, uh, they will be disappointed. That's two mid-pack finishes, but it's not a bad power output. It's just it's just that these other ones are so much more powerful now. Royo Therapy at seventh place, really, really good at uh, 73 milliwatts. It's a respectable amount. And again, two two good placings after two rounds. Red Rush, the A40 is, is packing a heap of power and so is that Rouge and the Huga, lots of power here. When we look down the bottom, uh, Juve, which used to be a really high powered panel, you can see how they've fallen behind by not updating that panel now. 12th place, Light Path LED Diesel, disappointing finish after their first place in round one. And then down the bottom, we have the Gimba Red Overclocked and the Bond Charge Hive Max. All right, so now we've got the points for round two. What we can do is add them all together and we can do our overall standings after two rounds. Let's have a look at that. All right, so what's interesting here is Platinum LED have moved to top of the table with 30 and a half points. Right behind them, remaining in second place is the Block Blue Light Mega, only one point behind. Rouge Care, in third place, Royo Therapy in fourth, and Light Path LED has dropped down four positions into fifth equal. Other noticeable changes, Huga Ultra is up five places. Uh, Ido Lighting, the Alibaba panel dropped nine places, all the way down to 11th place. Infrared Pro Max up three places, and also right down the bottom, the Bond Charge Hive Max dropped six places. When we look at the defending champ, they dropped two places and are down into 10th place. This comparison is quite subjective. I do my best to come up with hard numbers when it comes to making the measurements and the rankings. But at the end of the day, I'm the one coming up with the scoring system and the categories. So what I find here, you may not agree with. All right, that's two rounds down. Let's move into the third round where we look at wavelengths. All right, so round three with wavelengths. The goal here is to reward panels that are offering a wide range of therapeutic wavelengths while also providing a nice blend of light. So what I've actually done is I've broken this round into five scoring parts. First up, we look at how many wavelengths it's emitting. If it's only two, your traditional 660 and 850, you get zero points. Three or four wavelengths, one point. Five or six wavelengths, two points. Seven or more, three points. Next, I give panels that are emitting 810 nanometer near infrared light a point. Why? I personally really like 810 nanometer light. 
There's a lot of science behind it, more than the 850 nanometers. And I think there's a lot of promise behind it, a lot of potential. We see a lot of medical devices using 808 or 810 nanometer lasers. So for this reason, I think a panel that is putting 810 nanometer light in it, it's gonna be a better product. Now, when you look at a panel, you see the LEDs, what I refer to as LEDs. More accurately, I should say these are LED bulbs or LED lenses. Because when you look closely inside, you can see that there are chips inside each of these lenses. Traditionally, panels only had single chips, one chip per lens. Now we're seeing panels with two, three, or even four chips per lens. So if they're using dual chip lenses, they get one point. Triple chip, two points. Quad chip, three points. I did this because a panel that has multiple chip LEDs is able to blend their light a lot better. Instead of getting 660 here, 850 here, 810 here, 630 here, you can squeeze in a lot of those wavelengths into a tighter space. So the end result is you get a nice even spread on the body. Now, I know it's somewhat controversial because a lot of people say, look, the further away from the panel you go, the better the light coverage is anyway, even if they are single chip LEDs. And that is true, especially with the power outputs we're seeing. You can stand at 12 inches now compared to say six inches and you're gonna get just as much energy as you were with the panels from two or three years ago. However, I still am trying to find the best overall panel and I think multi-chip LEDs are something I need to reward, hence why it's in here. Next, I reward panels that have any unique wavelengths. Yes, you have your 660s, your 850s. You also have what are now a lot of common wavelengths such as 630 and 830 nanometer light. A couple years ago, even these wavelengths were new. Here we are in 2024, and I want to reward panels that are going beyond this range. The wavelengths still have to be beneficial. I just don't want gimmicky wavelengths in there. But if there is a beneficial wavelength in there that no other panel has, I'm going to give the panel a point for each unique wavelength that it has. Finally, I look at how many wavelengths have 15% or more of its energy going to a wavelength. The reason why I do this is so panels that are spreading the light out evenly, not only through multi-chip, LEDs, but also from a power output, are gonna get rewarded because the end result is the user's gonna get a much nicer blend of light. You're getting a balanced output of light. So let's say a panel has four different wavelengths and the energy is split evenly between all four of them, i.e. 25% to each, it's gonna get a couple of points in this round. Of course, I'm happy to discuss or debate this in the comments below or head over to the Facebook group. I'll put a link to that below. Okay, so now that you know all of that, there's a lot of numbers to crunch here. The best thing to do if you want to geek out on this is go over to the blog. You can see the data, see the table, study it in your own time. So what I'm going to do is show all the results after I've scored them. Uh, and again, we're going to work from the bottom up. Okay, so knowing all of that, here was the outcome for this round. In last place, which worked out to be 12th equal, we have six panels. All of these panels get three and a half series points. The reason why they place last is that only emitting 660 and 850. There's nothing special going on here. They're just what I guess you could call old school red light therapy panels. Now it's important to note that these panels aren't bad. You're still gonna get a therapeutic dose of light. It's just that there's panels out there now that are better, they have improved. But a couple of years ago, panels like this were all you could get. So if you have one of these panels or you're gonna get one of these panels for other reasons, don't feel like you're buying a lemon because that's not the case. Because I know it doubles up a bit, especially with that 810 in there. A lot of panels have multi-wavelength, which includes 810. But as you're gonna see soon, there are some panels that have multi-wavelength technology, but don't have 810. And I personally really like the 810. So that is why there is a standalone point for that. Remember though, those bottom panels are also gonna work great. It's just that there are panels that are gonna work better. When we move up to 11th place, we see the Bond Charge Hive Max. This has dual chip LEDs, so it gets a point there. 10th place, we have the Cyanolotic P1500. This has a couple wavelengths in it. Now we're up to eighth equal. Here we have the Gimbreed Overclocked and the Infrared Pro Max. The Gimbreed Overclock is putting out a bunch of wavelengths, 810 nanometers, and a good blend of light. The Infrared Pro Max, on the other hand, doesn't have as many wavelengths, but it is dual chip and has a good blend of light. Okay, so in sixth place, we have the Platinum LED Biomax 900. Now this is quite a unique panel. It has seven different wavelengths, so it's getting three points here. It does have a 10 nanometer light, so it's getting the point for that round. 
but it doesn't have multi-chip lenses. It's still using the older single chip lenses, platinum LED stay, it doesn't really matter. It's such a high powered device. If you stand 12 inches from the panel, you're gonna get a good blend of light. But it means in my scoring, it's not getting a point. However, the Biomax 900 does have two unique wavelengths. It's got blue light in there, which is great for skin health and acne. And it also has 10, 60 nanometer near infrared light. Now we've been looking into this and it is quite an exciting wavelength. I'll put a link below to an article explaining the benefits of 1060 nanometer light, but yeah, no other panels have these two wavelengths, so it's picking up two points here. Finally, it doesn't get any points in the wavelength power segment. This is because majority of the energy in the Biomax 900 is going to 660 and 850 nanometer light, the two more traditional wavelengths. So yes, there are five other wavelengths in the panel, but they're not getting a heap of energy allocated to these wavelengths. This is a big reason why it came in at sixth place, but because it does have so many wavelengths and 810, it did do better than a lot of the competitors. Okay, so that leaves us with six panels who ended up in first place for this round. The Block Blue Light Mega 4.0, the Huga Ultra 1500, Lightpath LED Diesel XL, Mito Light by Hacker 4.0, Rogotherapy Refine 900, and the Mito Red Light Mito Pro 1500X. Now what's interesting here is all of these panels use a 10 nanometer light, uh, they all have multi-chip technology, and they also have a nice blend, a nice spread of power going to all their wavelengths. But there are still unique variances between these panels. Block Blue Light, Mito Light, Rogotherapy, and Mito Red Light all have at least five wavelengths, whereas Huga and Lightpath LED don't. Another big difference is in the multi-chip section. Now the same five panels that all had five wavelengths are only using dual chip lenses, whereas the Lightpath LED diesel actually uses triple chip lenses and then the Huga Ultra 1500 has quadruple chip lenses, which is quite extraordinary. And then when we look at the unique segment, we see that Mito Red Light picked up a point here. This is because their new 1500X actually uses 590 nanometer amber light. This was quite a surprising addition. However, we have been looking through the research and it is a very credible and exciting wavelength. So Mito Red Light picked up a point here. Okay, so now that we have the points from that round, let's add them to the table and see how the panels are doing overall. So what's interesting is block blue light are back in the top spot and platinum LED have dropped down to second spot. So it's still very close. Even uh, in the top three, there's only a couple points between them and we're not even halfway through the series yet. Uh, Royo Therapy up one into third place. Lightpath LED and Huga a fourth equal, both up one. The Rouge Care has dropped down a couple places because they're only using the 660 and 850 nanometer light. Mito Red Light, Mito Pro is up four. The Mito Light Biohacker up three. And when we get all the way down to the bottom, we're seeing Juvis slip two down into 16th place and Saito LED is on last place. So if you're enjoying this video, can I ask a favor? You see a lot of time, like a ridiculous amount of time, any energy and money has gone into creating this video. So if you have found value in this video and you are enjoying it, can I ask a little favor from you? Can you just scroll down, take a few seconds, hit the like button, and also be sure to subscribe as well because I will be putting out a lot more content like this in the coming months. Thank you very much, I really do appreciate it. And be sure to leave any questions or comments while you're down there. So round four, we're looking at the company behind the panel. Now, the reason why I've included this round is because red light therapy is exploding. There are so many companies starting up. There are so many panels on the market. It's hard for me to keep up, but there's also a lot of cowboys out there. I mean, it's very easy now to start up a red light therapy company, and you can even do this without even touching a panel. All of these panels are made in Asia. Some of the factories are shipping direct to the customer and all someone needs to do is set up a website, do some marketing and away you go. So the idea behind this round is to reward a panel that has a good company backing it. Here I'm looking at four things. Warranty length. Remember you're spending a lot of money on some of these panels. You want to know it's gonna last and if it doesn't, you're gonna be looked after. Support options. Do they have a phone number? Can you pick up the phone and ring them? Maybe you're not too sure how to set it up. Maybe there's a problem with the panel. I think it's quite beneficial if the company has a phone number. Next, I'm looking at time in business. Like I said, this company's popping up overnight. At the same time, there are a lot of companies here that have been around for a long time. Remember the first time I did this series, there were six panels. A couple years later, 17. The good thing is, some of those companies from day one are still here today. Finally, we look at independent data. Are they sending their panel off for independent testing and sharing that data? Okay, so let's look at the results here. In last place, we have the Bond Charge Hive Max. 
They only offer a one year warranty, though they have been around for quite some time, which is good. Then we have eight companies in ninth equal place. Now, I'm not gonna go through all the data here. You can pause the video and have a look at it or check out the blog. Pretty much with all these companies, you're getting at least two years warranty. Some of them are doing three. Two of the companies, Mito Light and Royo Therapy have support options, which is great. And there's a wide range of how long these companies have been around. What's funny is the two companies that have phone support, Mito Light and Royo Therapy, they're both really new companies. They've only been in the space for a year or two. Unfortunately though, none of these companies are sharing independent data. Then we move up to fifth place. There are four companies here, Block Blue Light, Cyto LED, Huga, and Ido Lighting. All of these companies have been around for a long time and all of them offer good warranty periods. Now in fourth place, we have the Biomax 900. They have a three year warranty. They have a phone number you can call for support. They've been in business for a very long time. In fact, they're one of the original companies when it comes to red light therapy panels. And their panels have featured in all three of my comparison series. Unfortunately, at the time of filming, they don't have any published lab data. However, I do know that they are working on something big in this area. I wish I could share more details and I wish that at the time of filming, Platinum LED had their new uh, lab darting standard in place because it is going to be amazing for the industry. But at the time of filming, unfortunately, I don't have any of this data, so they miss out on points here. Then in second place, we have Gimbered and Rouge. Now, both of these companies have sent their panels off for independent testing and they share their data. They're both companies that have been around for a few years and they offer support options as well. So in first place, that leaves the Mito Red Light Mito Pro 1500X. Now, this company is offering a three-year warranty. They also have a phone number you can contact. They've also been in this space for quite some time, featuring in all three of my comparison series. And if you head over to their product website, you can see a direct link for their lab data. So that means they get full points for this round and hence come out on top. Okay, so what's interesting is Block Blue Light and Platinum LED are neck and neck on first place after four rounds. So there is a really good battle emerging here. I'm excited to see how it plays out. And after winning that round, Moto Red Light have jumped up three positions into third place, only trailing the leaders by five and a half points. So it is a good push here by the defending champions. Will they get back into top spot? We will see. Rogo Therapy have slipped two places into fifth equal, sharing that spot with Rujke, who did perform well in that round. If we look at other noticeable changes, Light Path LED are down three into seventh place, and Gimbered are up five into ninth equal. And near the bottom, we have a few position changes with Bond Charge, Hive Max in last place. Now, a bit of commentary on this topic because uh, some people may not agree with this. Um, Mito Red Light and Platinum are both solid companies. Now, I actually thought Gimbered was gonna do well here in this round, but because they only offer a two year warranty, they miss out on that one point and drop down a position. Though if the warranty side of things doesn't bother you, then of course, you know, factor that in to your own calculations. One other company I need to mention here is Light Path LED. Scoring their company was a little bit tricky. Now, I know Scott Kennedy, the founder of Light Path LED, great guy, very knowledgeable. I've interviewed him twice and his products are always great as well. You'll notice that they scored ninth equal. Now, what was tricky is their warranty system is a little bit different. As the years go by, they still offer a warranty, but they don't do full replacement value, which in a way I understand. But at the same time, if a product dies like three years into a five-year warranty, you don't really want to hear that you're only getting half the amount. So I gave them some points for this, but not full points. The other thing is they have a really good support network on Facebook. So I feel like in a way, maybe they were penalized a little bit here, but I mean, again, it's why scoring this is always so difficult. And it's why I also recommend checking out the independent reviews on any of these panels. If there's one or two panels you are considering, go check out my full review on that panel because that's where I do share more intricate details such as this in those reviews. Remember when you're scoring these panels, it's, it's very, very difficult to try and compare 17 different products and 17 different companies. All right, so there's three more rounds to go. Let's keep moving. Round five is what I titled Operation. This is looking at ease of use, setup, what's it like to operate? The key things I'm looking for here are modular support, can you get more panels and clip them together? And also, can you control multiple panels from one source? I'm looking at whether it comes with a remote control, whether it comes with an app, whether there's a touchscreen control system on the red light therapy panel. I'm also looking at features such as pulsing and dimming, the ability to reduce the power output 
And finally, I'm looking at stand options. Not just are there stands out there, but how many different options there are. Because some people may want their panels mounted on a wall. Some people may want them on a vertical stand on wheels. Other people might want a horizontal motorized stand. So these are the things I'm looking at. Let's go through the scoring. So we have four panels coming in at 14th Eco, which is last place. Bond charge, Saito LED, Gimbal Red, and the Alibaba panel. Unfortunately, these panels don't have modular support. They don't have the remote. They don't have, they don't have anything. Hence why the rock bottom last. Carla Elite comes in at 13th place because it has modular support and some stand options. Moving up, we have Red Therapy Co and Synlotic. So let's move up to sixth place. Here we have two panels the Mito Red Light Mito Pro and the Light Path LED Diesel Shorty. Both of these have full modular support options. The diesel comes with a remote control. The Mito Pro comes with an app. The Mito Pro has a touchscreen and dimming, but the Light Path LED has pulsing and better stand options. Now in third equal, we have Block Blue Light Mega, the Juve Solo 3.0 and the Rouge Kia G3. Both great modular options. They either have a remote control or an app. Uh, only the block blue light panel has the touchscreen, which I personally really like. They all offer dimming and pulsing functions, uh, and they all have good stand options as well. So that leaves two panels in first place, and that was the Platinum LED Biomax 900 and the Royo Therapy Refine 900. So again, great modular support here. The Biomax is really nice uh, when connecting multiple panels. They connect wirelessly, works really great. The Biomax comes with a remote, the Royo doesn't. Both of them have an application which just mimics what you're doing on the touchscreen control panel, which is really nice. Uh, and I've given the Biomax one point for dimming, but the Royo Therapy two points for dimming. Because what's quite unique here is the Royo Therapy allows you to dim individual wavelengths. So rather than just dimming all the red or all the near infrared light, you can say, I just want to dim, say, 850 nanometer near infrared light, but I want to leave 810 at. 100% and then 830 at 50%. No other panel can do that. That's why I gave them the extra point there for dimming. And then the Royo Therapy offers pulsing, but Platinum doesn't. But Platinum has the best range of stands out of any red light therapy company. I think they have four or five different stand options just for the Biomax 900. It is pretty cool. So as for my commentary on those results, well, pretty much I'm very familiar with the Platinum LED product. I've used it for years. I have a bunch of them in my home. My family have used them. And I have to say they are very simple to use. I mean, they were the first panel to come out with a touchscreen and it just worked amazing i mean so much so that it hasn't even changed after all of these years because there's nothing really that needs changing now we're seeing other companies using touch screens which is why i included a scoring point in this round here but even things like connecting multiple panels together it's very similar to do they have wireless connectivity you can do it all through your app you can do it through a remote or you can do it through the one panel it, it just works really good so i'm not surprised that they didn't come out top here or at least perform really well here they would have had maximum points uh, if they had pulsing but i know platinum melody like mito red light have always said look pulsing is just a gimmick and that may be true i have a video and a blog article on pulsing i'll put a link to that below so you can go check it out um but if it wasn't for that they would have had max points Rogo Therapy, on the other hand, a new company, their new panel has just been out. I haven't tested it that much, but they do have an app. They do have the touchscreen. They do have pulsing. They do have some good stand options. Actually, their panel comes included free with a floor stand, which is which is pretty cool. But it's that independent domain function that got them that extra point, which puts them neck and neck with Platinum LED. Block Blue Light, I guess, will be disappointed to slip behind here. The main reason is they don't have an app. So they do have the remote control and the nice touchscreen, and they don't have as many stand options as Platinum or say Juve, for instance. Speaking of Juve, they did well here because yeah, they are well known for their user-friendly operation, lots of bells and whistles, lots of features. They've always been known as that. Little bit lacking now compared to some of the rivals, which is why they're not top scoring here. When it comes to operation, setup, modular support, they do uh, tick a lot of boxes. So let's have a look at the overall standings now. And as you can see, the Platinum LED Biomax is on its own in first place. Block Blue Light dropped a few points there to fall into second place. Rio Therapy has jumped up two spots to share third place with the Mito Red Light panel. This is uh, this is this is getting close, and it's very interesting. Uh, some big names in here: Platinum LED and the Mito Red. And then in between them, we've got the two newcomers. Huga have dropped two places to sit in sixth place. And the other big changes were the Infrared Pro Max going up three to sit in 11th equal. 
and the Alibaba panel, the Idolite in 1500, they dropped three places to fall down to 14th place. So with two rounds left, it's still open to anyone. You'd have to imagine that Platinum LED and Block Blue Light are going to be in the top three because they do have a decent buffer over third place, but there are still a lot of points up for grabs. And then when you look at third position, well, two panels neck and neck, and then you have the Rouge Care panel only a few points behind. Yeah, exciting times. Let's go into the next round, huh? And also remember, at the end of the video, I'm not only going to reveal the overall winner, I'm also going to look at some other special category winners. It's going to be quite interesting. I'll also throw in, say, most disappointing panel as well. So. Round six extras is here. There's only this and then price to go and then it's all done. Crazy. So this round, this round's, yeah, I call it extras because it's where I put in everything else. Everything that didn't have a place in the categories I've already covered and things that I wanted to include, but you know, th there's a few little odds and ends. Let me explain. In this round, we're looking at whether the panel comes with a good quality manual. I do this because if you're buying a red light therapy device for the first time, you wanna know a bit about it, not just the panel, but how red light therapy works, how long you should use it for, what the buttons do. So a good manual is key. I also look at cable length. What I'm measuring here is how much cable you have from the bottom of the panel. So some panels have a really short cable, but the plug is on the bottom of the panel, so they do pretty good marks here. I put this in because there's nothing worse than putting your panel on the back of the door or on a hook and then finding it doesn't reach the socket. You gotta get an extension cord. I look at whether the panel has built-in grips, makes moving it a lot easier. I look at whether the panel comes with included eyewear protection. I look at whether it's a low EMF rated panel. I also look at the sound output because there's nothing worse than using a red light therapy panel that drives you nuts. And trust me, there are some panels out there that I personally can't use. They just, I, I hate it. It's just not enjoyable. And you're meant to be using these panels to help you feel better, relax better, perform better, whatever it may be. You don't wanna be stressed. So I look at sound. Then I look at any unique features or any negative features. So I spent a lot of time doing all this testing. I've totaled all the scores up. Let's have a look. All right, so in the last place, we have the Alibaba panel. Pretty much they don't really tick any of the boxes. Plus this company is based in China. You're literally dealing with a Chinese factory. So they lost the mark there. 16th place was the Kala Elite. Has a good manual, low in EMF. Really short cable though. Uh, and it loses two points. Firstly, the LEDs are in clusters, so you actually get a blank space in between the LEDs, which is not good for light coverage. And secondly, the wire hooks I was using snapped, so that kind of sucked. 14th equal, we have Infrared Pro Max and the Bond Charge Hive Max. I'm not gonna go into all the details here unless there's something really worth mentioning. You can go check out the full table over at Light Therapy Insiders. Speaking of Light Therapy Insiders, that's my blog that I run. There's a lot of great articles over there plus my light therapy inside this shopping tool where you can compare all sorts of products uh, beyond the 17 I've tested here. In 12th place, we had the Red Therapy Co Red Rush and the Cyanlotic P1500. Now the Cyanlotic P1500 wasn't too bad, but it lost two points because again, it's a Chinese company and it's got the cluster issues. 11th place, Cyto LED Triplex. In eighth equal, we have the Huga, the Juve and the Mito Light Biohacker. Uh, one positive that the Juve has is that it's ultra lightweight. The panel is actually made of plastic. Uh, it's, it's super light. Trust me, setting all of these up, you pick up the Juve and you nearly throw it in the ceiling. So if you want a light panel, then that's a big plus. Six equal, we have the Gimbered Overclocked and the Lightpath LED Diesel Shorty. Now both of these had a really long cable and they were both ultra quiet, like two of the quietest panels I've tested, but they don't come with printed quality manuals and they don't have built-in grips. On the upside though, the Gimbered panel is really long. It's a tall panel. So I gave it a bonus point there and the Lightpath LED panel comes with a free floor stand. So it gets a bonus point. And fourth equal, we had Mito Red Light Mito Pro and the Biomax coming in equal points again. So great manual, built-in grips, eye protection, low EMF, decent sound output. The Platinum LED Biomax panel is really long, but the Mito Red Light panel is really, really tall, the panel itself. I know in the first round we, we rewarded width, but I do want to give these bonus points to the two panels, the Gimbred and the Mito Red Light for their height. Some people may want a panel with that's just really tall, so they get a bonus point there. In second equal, we have the Block Blue Light Mega and the Rouge Care G3. Great cable length, great manuals, eye protection, low EMF, and really good on the sound front. And in first place, we have the newcomer Royo Therapy, the Refine 
900. Now there's a few things to talk about here, so let's run through it. Good cable length, built-in grips, eyewear protection, good manual, low EMF, nice and quiet, but it gets two bonus points. Firstly, it comes bundled with a free stand, which are typically sold for about 100, 130 odd dollars. So that's included in the price, which is really good. And secondly, this panel is quite unique. You'll have to check out my full review of this panel. Be sure to subscribe to see that when it's out, but it has built-in smart dosing modes. So you can go through the panel and say, look, I want to focus on bone health or muscle recovery or skin health. You activate that, the intensities, the wavelengths all change and it comes up with the session duration. No other panel does this. I actually think it's an absolute game changer. It's amazing for people that are new to red light therapy. To be honest, it's amazing for everyone. There are downsides with it though. How accurate are the dosing protocols? I mean, I haven't put out dosing protocols because I can't get my head around it, but still I think it's a step in the right direction. So because of that and all the other good things that come included with the panel, I think it's only fair that they come out number one in this round. Okay, cool. So that's another round done. Let's go over and update the table. Okay, so what's fascinating here, if you look down the change column, You'll notice that there aren't too many changes, especially in the top eight or nine panels. Now, Roach have jumped up one spot. Another fun fact is after six rounds, Therapy have actually been the top scorers on three of those rounds. No other panel has won that many rounds. Platinum LED won two of them. A block of Light has only won the one. A Minor Red Light, they've also won two. So yeah, Therapy in third place, putting on a good show for first timers. But when we take a closer look at the points, we see that there's only half a point between first and second place. Platinum LED still have first place, but only just. Block Blue Light are right on their tails. In third place, we have Royo Therapy, seven points behind, still with an opportunity to come out on top. Then Rouge Care have jumped up one placing into fourth place with 75. Minor Red Light are just behind that in fifth place, but they have fallen a little bit in that round, which is disappointing, but hey, technically they could still come out on top. Though realistically, I guess they'll be happy settling with the top three placing at this point. Further down the table, we see that the Juve Solo did come up three places here, and then Freddy Pro Max dropped two. So there's one more to go. Why wait? Let's get into it. Okay, and here we are, the very last round of my 2024 Red Light Therapy Comparison Series. This round, we look at price and shipping. Now, remember at the start of the video, I said that this series was gonna be directed more for the American customer. Of course, until now, everything that we've touched on is applicable to worldwide customers. But in this round, to make things a little bit easier, I looked at prices in US dollars and I looked at how much it would cost to get a panel to your door in America. Some of the companies do ship internationally, some of them don't. If you wanna know the best panel for your particular region, that's where you need to subscribe and I will be doing a video on that very soon. Oh, and the other thing I need to mention is the prices I'm about to share are accurate as of the time of filming. They may change, they will change, it's just the world we're in. Uh, so I can't do much about that. Secondly, the prices I'm gonna share are the discounted prices. Now, I am affiliated with a lot of these companies now, and I've asked them to give you guys the best deal, the best discount possible. So some of the prices you see are exclusive to this channel. Now, to take advantage of those discounted prices, you have to use the discount code. Typically, it's Alex. So I have used the discounted prices when doing this comparison. I mean, it makes sense, right? Like. That's the price you're gonna pay, so that's what we should compare them on. And then of course, I've added on the US shipping. All right, let's get comparing. Oh, actually, one last thing I need to say. If you're not worried about price, like you've got a heap of money and you just wanna get the best panel, you don't even really have to watch this round. Just pull up the standings we saw a few moments ago and just buy whatever's at the top. This round scores on the cost of the price. So just something I thought I'd mention. Okay, now for the scores. So at the bottom of the table, we have the Juve Solo 3.0. Uh, $1,780. That's a lot of money and it's really disappointing because the prices have just gone up despite the panel not really changing. And the other disappointing thing is, is Juve have placed really low on the overall standings. Uh, so it's not like you're spending big money for something super amazing. Disappointing way for Juve to finish. 16th place, Lightpath LED, $1,543. 15th place, the Cyanlotic P1500. 14th place, the Gimbal Red Overclocked, $1,390. I don't have a discount code for Gimbal Red. 13th place, the Mito Light Biohacker. 12th place is the Block Blue Light Mega 4.0, $1,275 with a $9 shipping cost. 11th place, the Huga Ultra, $1,259. 
10th place, the Platinum LED Biomax 900, $1,234 when ordering through the discount link below. There is no code and they don't have shipping costs, so that's great. Ninth place, the Mito Red Light Mito Pro 1500X, free shipping, $1,187 all up. Eighth place, Royo Therapy Refine 900, $1,165. Seventh place, Rouge Care, $1,112. Sixth place, Carla Elite, $1,085. Fifth place, Infrared Pro Max, $1,079. Fourth place, Cyto LED, $1,008. Third place, Red Therapy Co. Red Rush 840, $970. Second place, Bond Charge Hive Max, $902. And then in first place for this round was the Idu Lighting 1500. This is the Alibaba panel. The discounted price I got here was only $300, but I had to pay about $185 for shipping. So it brings the total out to $485, which is really, really low. This price may have changed by the time this video goes out. Remember, this is buying through the factory. Now, before we do the total standings, I, I do need to share some insights here. The first thing I noticed is a lot of the panels that performed really well in that round are sitting really low on the overall standings pretty much saying you get what you pay for. You pay bigger money, you get a better product. The exception being Juve, which is the complete opposite to that, which is kind of crazy. Um, the price is an interesting one. You want price in here because, yep, people are price conscious, but at the same time, like you may be happy to spend an extra $100 or $200 to get something that has a lot more power, a lot more bells and whistles, a lot more warranty periods and manuals and all that sort of thing but it does need to be in here and that's why i left this round to the end so you can look at how the panel performs and functions before the scores are influenced by price now i also need to mention i will be doing a video looking at the best panel under a thousand dollars that'll be coming out soon now it's time let's update the standings we're going to go through the final results working our way up and we're going to see who comes out number one all right in 17th place we have the bond charge hive max on 36 and a half points Disappointing finish, but uh, nothing's really changed with that panel over the years, so it doesn't surprise me. In 16th place, we have the Juve Solo 3.0. They dropped four positions after that price round. Honestly, I don't, I don't really get it. That's super expensive. You are getting some nice things, but I mean, they're just, they're just so far behind. Hopefully, a fourth gen Juve comes out soon and, and spices things up a bit. 15th place, Saito LED. 14th place, the Carla Elite. A disappointing finish as there was a lot of hype and marketing promise from Carla uh, on their new Elite panel. 13th place, Gimba Red Overclocked. 12th place, Synlotic P1500. 11th place was Infrared Pro Max. Uh, yeah, another disappointing finish. Remember, these guys placed third out of 12 two years ago. So they've definitely dropped the ball here. Uh, 10th place is the Alibaba panel. That's up five positions purely on the price. So if you take out price, remember that was sitting in 15th place. So yes, you're getting good value, but you're losing a lot of features here. In ninth place, the Red Therapy Co. Red Rush 850. In eighth place, the Mito Light Biohacker 4.0. So first time this company has been in the series. They're finishing mid-pack. Honestly, I think their panel is really good. However, I do like their larger Mito Hacker panel, which has 400 LEDs. Uh, but of course, that wouldn't meet the criteria for this video. Check out that review because it's it's actually a really good panel. Seventh place was the Light Path LED Diesel. So sixth place, Huga Ultra 1500. Okay, so that leaves us with five. These are the top five red light therapy wall panels for 2024 as as measured by yours truly. All right, you ready for this? In fifth place, it goes to the Mito Red Light Mito Pro 1500X. A somewhat disappointing finish given that they won last year. It's a great company with great products. There's just a few minor things that cost them dearly. Narrower panel design is the big one. That they're, they're on the back foot from the first round, but they have got some really good features like the new touchscreen, control panel, the applications neat, great customer support, great energy blend. I, I mean, we're, we're fifth out of 17, right? You're like you're in the top portion here. You're getting great panels, but um, we're looking for the best of the best. And this year, Mitre Red didn't quite have it. In fourth place, and this may surprise a few people, was the Rouge Kia G3 Pro. Now, the reason why it may surprise a lot of people is it's not a well-known company. You don't hear that much about it. However, the panel when it was released in 2023 was one of the most powerful panels. They're a very credible company. They're sharing a lot of data, very great on the customer support as well. 
The downside was they're only putting out 660 and 850. In all honesty, for a panel to only have those two wavelengths to finish in fourth place, it does show that they're doing a lot of things right. If they had a few more wavelengths in there, they would be they would easily be in the top three. Speaking of top three, there are three to go. So I wonder what you guys picked because uh, I'm about to reveal them all. So third place, we have the Rojo Therapy Refine 900. Now, this is an incredible result because Rojo Therapy were only founded, I think, in 2022. It's a very new company. It's really, I don't like that. And I marked the panel down because it is a new company in the series. However, it is supported by Sunstream Saunas uh, in Australia. So I know they are a legit company and, and I know there's funding behind it and all those good things. But what excites me the most is this company have come out with a panel that is, it's innovative. Yes, it's powerful. Yes, it's got a good warranty, good packaging, but they've done something that no other company has done. They've built in these smart modes. Not only that, they've built a panel that allows you to independently change the intensities of your wavelengths. Now, these are both things that I've been talking about for two or three years now, maybe even longer, and no one's done it until Rogo come along and have done it, which is extraordinary. And it's very impressive and good on them as well. Not only that, they're also selling their panel at a really good price point. They were eighth place in that last round, a discounted price of $1,165. It's, that's really good for what you're getting. Uh, plus you're getting that free stand as well. I mean, that's, that's like another hundred odd dollars that a lot of companies charge. So congratulations, Rio Therapy, um, a newcomer to the scene, your second generation panel, and you've come out third place, beating some big, big companies, third out of 17. You should be very proud. And uh, I think anyone that's going to use their panels, is going to be very happy with them. So that leaves two, two panels left. Uh, you know who the two are. You've got the Platinum LED and the Block Blue Light Mega. Who is going to come out number one? I'm not going to announce second place. What I'm going to do is announce the winner and then we'll talk about second later. So the winner, the 2024 Red Light Therapy Wall Panel of the Year goes to, drum roll please, Platinum LED Biomax 900 eighth generation. This is a panel that won my very first comparison series. They fell behind ever so slightly in my last one and they've, they've stepped it up a notch. I've had two generation updates since that series and they've incorporated a lot of new features. Platinum LED have been well known to be very innovative, to put out panels that are offering a ton of power, to have great pricing and it's continued. They introduced blue light in their seventh gen and now with the 8th gen, they added the 1060 Nero for red light. They have one of the best connectivity systems. You're getting a handy remote included. You get a really nice app that's just easy to use. Doesn't require sign up to log in or anything like that. You're getting a great warranty, a great manual. There's heaps of stand options. Honestly, I mean, it is a really good panel. So congratulations, Platinum LED. You've won the 2024 Red Light Therapy Wall Panel of the Year Award. But of course, that's not all. We do need to talk about second place. Now second place was the Block Blue Light Mega 4th Gen. Like Royo Therapy, this is the first time they've been included in my comparison series. So we have two companies, two newcomers who have placed in the top three. So Block Blue Light, this is their fourth generation panel. They got their fourth gen panel out just in time for this comparison series. And I'm glad they did because their new panel brought in the touchscreen control system, it brought in a better blend of light, it brought in more power, and just a few other bells and whistles that just make this the premium panel edit. It's a great size, all three of the top panels are the same size, 300 LEDs, really good pricing options, really good shipping options as well. It's another panel that I personally would be happy to use if it's the only panel I could use. I think that's the key thing here, right? And it's important to remember that all of the panels in this series are going to work. They're putting out therapeutic red light. Even the Bond Charge and the Juve, they're gonna work. It's just that there's panels that are better, that work better. And that's what this comparison series has done. Now, before you go out and buy it, remember I've reviewed all of these panels individually. So you can go check out those reviews if you wanna take a deeper dive. I always recommend doing that. Those reviews cover even more information than I could do in this comparison series. But before you go, I wanna do a few special awards. So bear with me here. First up, Newcomer of the Year Award goes to, well, it's a toss up between Block Blue Light and Rodeo Therapy. I don't need to talk more about them. They're both great panels and um, you got a second and third place. So take your pick. So well done again to both of those companies. 
most innovative feature that goes to Royo Therapy with their new smart modes and the ability to independently change the power settings on each wavelength. I think that's that's awesome. So congrats Royo Therapy. Best panel for those on a budget. Well, you know what? It's going to take me too long to score and report on. So what I'm going to do is a separate video for that. Be sure to subscribe to check that out. Also, for those of you thinking, hey, I live in Australia. What's the best prop panel? Uh, subscribe. There's videos coming out on that very soon. Finally, I want to talk about the most disappointing panel. Now, there's two here. Uh, firstly, you've got Juve. It, just because they've gone from being a market leader and doing really well in my reviews and comparison series to just falling behind. Not only that, falling behind on the features point of view, but they're also very, very expensive. So that is disappointing. And I think secondly, the other disappointing panel would be Infraredes. They placed third a couple of years ago uh, and now they were below average. I mean, it's, it's a shame. I think they really sort of stuffed up with their new panel, but uh, hey, they'll come back better, that's for sure. And I also need to mention, I'm open for criticism here. Not everyone's gonna agree with this, but again, you can take the data and come up with your own conclusions. The Platinum LED Biomix panel is exceptional. However, it's not perfect. Otherwise, it'd be a panel scoring top marks in every single round. The Biomix, for instance, doesn't have the dual chip LEDs, doesn't have the best blend of light, and some people may wanna see more power go into those other wavelengths. If that's a big problem for you, then look down the list. If it's not, then you know who to go buy from. Speaking of buying from, discount codes, discount links are all down below. So before I wrap up and say goodbye and thank you, I do want to share my closing thoughts on this series. Now, going into it, I really didn't know who was going to win. Uh, I knew Platinum LED would be strong. They have great power, uh, great price. I mean, it's just a lot of good things behind them. But there's 17 panels and there's been a lot of change and innovation in the market. I also knew that I wanted to reward panels that had good light coverage, a good blend of light. Now, what's interesting is this came up in a conversation a while ago with Platinum LED, and I, I sort of asked why you haven't done dual trip. They said, it doesn't matter. We recommend you stand six, eight, 12 inches from the panel and you are getting good light coverage, which is true. But still, I think it's an important thing to include in there. So because of that, I, I didn't know. I, I really didn't know if they would have enough strength in the other categories to come out number one. But as you can see, I mean, they did. They won three rounds and consistently were scoring really well. If you take out the price round, every single round, they were they were up there. The wavelength round was their weakest round. But, you know, you're getting your 13s, 16s. I, I mean, they're really, really good. So I am surprised, but then I'm not surprised that they came out number one. What does surprise me is Royo, Block Blue Light, and even Rouge. It's weird because these panels come and I'm like, wow, they're great panels. Like they're doing really good. I don't know. It's, it's hard to know how they're going to place. And again, this is why I was so excited by this series. Well, excited and stressed because so much work goes into it. And I know I'll probably get some criticism, but you know, I, I just didn't know how it would play out. Even the Huga, the Huga Ultra with the quad chip LEDs. I mean, no one's done anything like that before. I, I was like, where's this going to go? Uh, so many panels have touch screens now. Mito Red Light. Uh, Mito Light, the European company, their panel is really good. I mean, the Mito Hacker, the larger one, that's an exceptional panel. So I was really excited to see how it would go. And looking at the results now, I think, yeah, I think it's a pretty good outcome. Um, you're getting, yeah, I mean, it's hard not to get a good panel now. But Block Blue Light, hats off to them. Uh, just honestly, a really good all rounder. They just take a lot of boxes across the board. So can't really go wrong with them. Royo Therapy though, like, I mean, that's awesome what they've done. Just really, really cool. Still a new company and I know some people will have reservations around that, but I'm excited to see that panel develop, that company develop. And personally, I'm, I'm keen to geek out on some of those smart mode stuff. Mito Red Light in fifth place. Uh, interesting because the big trip up here was the size. They lost so many points on the, the first round because they're a little bit narrower. They also lost a few points in the operation round and they missed out on the 810. Saying that, still a really good panel. I mean, this is a really high quality panel from a good company and you're getting the new amber light. So, I mean, if you want amber light, the other ones to buy, right? Like it's, it's, it's a no brainer. Another special mention we have to talk about is light path LED. If you want 810 nanometer light, you have a panel where every single chip in there has 810 nanometer light. Plus it's the widest panel. Again, if that was the only panel I could have, I'd be happy with that. There's nothing majorly wrong with it. It's not perfect, none of these panels are. It's not exceptionally great across the board, 
that's what platinum and block blue light in that are doing but it's it's still a good panel in fact i have been using that for a while it's super quiet which personally i really like speaking of quiet if you don't like sound sound stress don't get near juve and don't go near the infrared panels that they're, they're not pleasant to use i don't know what's going on right on there with those two panels disappointing uh but both of those panels finished quite poorly anyway there's much better panels to look at now as for the scoring system here i mean hey look i'm open for criticisms every year i try and get better if you go back and watch my first one and compare it to this one you'll you'll laugh you'll say oh, wow what a difference it's been so yes i welcome any feedback and criticisms or how i can do it better next time the problem is it's so hard to come up with an overall winner because like i just mentioned if you want a really wide panel you get a wide panel if you want something with a lot of blue light in it and you get the one with blue light in it. it it really depends right if you plan on getting a massive array with lots of panels and you want a remote in an app then it doesn't matter what the other panels do if it doesn't have those features you're not going to buy it so in a way this is more just for entertainment for fun really uh because it does depend on what you want and that's why i do those in-depth reviews it's also why I'm going to be looking at other types of panels later on, because in all honesty, yeah, you can buy a Biomax 900 or you can spend a few hundred dollars more and get a wider panel or yeah, there's lots of ways you can do it. Upon reflection though, looking at the scorecard, I mean, I think I am pretty happy with it. I, you wouldn't believe how long I have spent planning this, like months, months, talking to a lot of people, uh, lots of conversations with technicians, electricians, light experts, uh, company founders not necessarily in the space but people you know doing similar things but unrelated i mean i take on board everything uh i'm looking at the science and trying to come up with the best scoring system i mean throwing an 810 in there a lot of people won't agree with that but right now i think it's a good wavelength to have in a panel you know what i'm happy to answer any questions maybe i can do a follow-up video there are going to be a lot more videos coming off the back of this video though so we've got the region videos price videos all sorts of things so hey look i really appreciate you watching all this if you've stayed this far through I, I mean thumbs up to you you can give me a thumbs up but uh yeah thumbs up to you i thought i'd do the summary video and then i'll do this extra long one with a bit more footage a bit more commentary a bit more insights as i go because i know there are some people out there like myself who just love this stuff so thank you thank you for the support thank you for the time you've invested in me today watching this uh, if you do purchase a panel, I mean, all I can say is get a better deal and use a discount code. It does put some cash in my pocket, but as you can imagine, uh, this sort of stuff costs a lot of money and time. So thank you all around. Um, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And uh, before I go, you know, check out one of those other videos, pop over to the Facebook group if you're not in there, hit the subscribe button. And up here, I'm gonna put a playlist with some more videos of mine so you can you can really binge watch my stuff. Signing out.